Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I want to show you a few things that you can use from home that can help you in your mixed media. Um, things that you may not uh, realize, you might throw away. I love doing these. Um, so it's just going to be a few things. I got a lot of new subscribers. Hello. Um, so excited. And so I thought, you know, a lot of you are just starting out and being stuck in the house. What are you to do? So I thought, go raid your closets. And I'm going to just give you a couple just a couple little things um, that I like to do. So this is going to be a piece of mail art that I'm sending out. Um, so I thought I would come on and just show a few things. So if you have light bulbs, um, a lot of them come in these kind of packages, you know, where they put the little boopies in. So I got light bulbs the other day and I thought, you know what? I'm not throwing these out. So we're going to work on a background for this. Now you can see I threw gesso down. If you don't have gesso, just throw your white paint. Or honestly, if you have a, a color paint that's the, not your favorite, you ever go buy paints? It's like buying lipstick, you know? You go, you're like, oh, this looks so pretty. You buy it, and then you're like, what in the world did I buy this for? Well, maybe you have one of those that you want to use. Um, so this says gesso. One of the new things I have are these. Now this looks like an artiste... Um, uh, face foundation brush, which is kind of what it is. Um, but it's for, you know, doing the things. So you can use ink, you can use whatever you want. I'm going to show you. Well, I know I am. If I had it here, I know I had here. I know I said it here. It's just a matter of, okay. So I have some ink, whatever ink you have will work. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to do black because that's what I have sitting here, but I'm going to paint over it. So it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go in and let's get on camera and it's going to, if you have a, you know, maybe your ink pads like mine and you use it up. So I'm just kind of doing this and then I'm going to go in. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. So that's with your ink pad and then you lift it up and voila. I'm going to do a couple more and then I'm going to try it with paint because we're going to play. Look at that. And I can really go in if I want to make it darker, or lighter, whatever. These are great. And you really get a good, now you know me, I'm, I'm a mess. I get paint everywhere. So we'll see what the paints are like. But I mean, it has a nice, It's. I mean, it's a cheap handle. I got it on Amazon, but you, um, it's not like, you know, but it has flexibility, which is what I like. So because I have to hold things weird because of my hands, um, and I always hold too hard. It's part of my painting problem. I'm trying to really learn, but I have problems. <laughs> uh, you know, so these are really nice. Okay, so you can see we're already starting a mixed media background. And what makes this mixed media? Well, we have our gesso paint, whatever you, you know, whatever you have. Let's do a little boopy up here. And we have our ink pad. Oh, girl, I pushed down. <gasps> Look at this. And we have our ink pad. So now we're mixing the media. Look at that. When you push it down like I did, like this, tap, tap. Turn it this way. Watch. Oh, yeah. And I'm not making sure, you know, I'm just getting some on there. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so that's pretty cool, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So let's do it. I know what we'll do. Let's do something next. Okay, so putting this away, I put the lid on because I never do. Now I'm going to take some painter's tape. We all have painter's tape, right? Or maybe you have masking tape. Maybe you even have clear tape. And if it's too sticky for you, I always put it on my shirt or my pants. You can't see. And then I rip it off and then I'll do it one more time. Cause you just want it tacky. You don't need it sticky and you don't have to buy 20 different tapes. I've tried and Amazon, I can't get any. So I'm just gonna, we did it this way. Let's just very lightly I'm do some straps. And I should have cut that a little smaller, but <laughs> Got my top pants on. Anybody know that? 
Tell me about a song in my own tight pants. I got my tight pants. Got my tight pants on. Cause I'm eating too much. I'm eating too much. Poof. Okay. Just a little there. Doesn't have to be everywhere, but oh, got a bubble there, but it's all right. We're going with the flow. So I'm going to do it this way, and then I'm going to take a little piece. Now, I'm not going to take the sticky off here. Let's see what it does. It's probably going to, no, it's sticky. I don't want to do it. This is the Sharp Line Multi-Surface. I have duct tapes in here, too, but that will rip it off. I'll do it like that. Okay. And what color paint should we do? Well, let's do, let's do a little bit of white. I'm going to shake it. Just like that, a boop. And let's do a little uh, aqua. Can't see. And we're going to mix them. Okay. Now, why is my, oh, my camera. There we go. <laughs> I was like, why can't you see it? Okay. Boop. Just a little less bit. Now we'll take this. Maybe I should mix it with something else because, you know. I don't want to get too much. Oh, yeah, look at that. See? Can you see how? Shedding a little bit. It's new. What are you going to do? Do I really care? No, I don't. Rinse it off in there. Now, let's see. Tape down, tape down. I'm not too worried, but I, I do want. Okay, there's not much paint on that. Let's get it in. Let's get her. There we go. Ooh. Okay. It sucks painting like it would be foundation, I would suppose. It's all right. Still working good. I probably should have put more out. I was try I was being a little. Maybe get over here. Plus that gesso is sucking it in. Don't. It is. It's sucking it in. But I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to pull this off very simply. You see how you get that, right? And now I'm going to put this in half. Okay. Could be in the jerk. And I'm just laying them down. Let's pull this one off. Mm, sticky. Don't rip anything off. And obviously, the more you put the tape down, the you know the less sticky it'll be. Okay, I didn't even put anything there. Come on, baby, you gotta come off. Okay, I was gonna go live, and there's like six premieres and this and that, and I gotta quit looking. I gotta just go and do it. Because otherwise, it's like every day there's people doing it, and I'm never going to be able to go live. I mean, I, I try to live by my morals, but come on. Let's take some quinacridone pink. I know it's mixing it right here. A little bit more than I had. Are you, though, Cal? Come on. <clears throat> there we go. I am going a little heavier. And I'm going to put a little bit of white, and then I'm going to, like, mix and mix. I wanna, you see here, I have this little, like here, stuck on my bottom so it doesn't, because um, I like it stuck on my bottom sometimes. Because then I don't um, scooch all over. Because I'm a scoocher, I'm not going to lie. Things scooch. Look at that muscular arm. Yeah, girl, yeah. <laughs> Double stuff Oreos. All right. So I'm going to move some white. I'm going to move some of this and do this. Yeah. We'll make a light and then we'll make a dark. And let's see what we can do. All right. I'm not going to mix it all the way because who cares? Then I'm going to take like this. I'm going in. Look at me. I got my school shit thing. And then. I'm going to go with some circles. It's all right because, you know, it's just getting the... Now what I'm going to do is move it the slightest bit. Let's move it this way. 
Oops, squished it. Look what I did. I moved it and squished. It's all right. Everybody has a squishy day. Sometimes more than others. All right, I'm just going to put a little bit of dark on there. And let's see if I can get this the way I want it. Probably not. Nope, not how I wanted it. But I wanted it like blended. It didn't, but that's all right. I'm all about having the fun. Just laying down the some background, you know. And then I'll show you the next bit. Let's do it this way. Mm, no. Let's see. I wanted to have the like a dark. You'll see. I've done it a million times, and honestly, my brain right now. All right. It happened to the best of us. So I'm not going to get upset about it. But I, for the life of me, can't think. And that's all right. It happens. I'm going to tell you, I've been worried about Mary Ann McMillan and it's driving me bananas. I'm not going to lie. I wrote her daughter and her daughter didn't write back. So now I'm like even worse worried. I'm like, do I write her daughter again? What do I do? I don't like that feeling. I don't have her number. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry. I'm going to take these off. Can you just stay here for a minute, please? Stay there. You can tell I haven't made videos in a minute because oh, it's like what's happening in my life. And you don't need it everywhere. Yes, I put it on the tape. It's all right because I don't want them everywhere. And maybe the blue tape, it's like, oh, that's exciting. Look at that. Okay, because we're going to do something else. Don't worry. By the time I get all this freaking tape off, it's going to be dry anyway. So who cares, right? I don't want to rip the paper, but it's really getting on my nerves. It's all right. Love's going into it. So that's all that matters. Right here we need something. So I'm just going to kind of go off the edge too. I do love that. You're going to see me using this a lot for a million different things. Stencils and because I really love that you can get such a clean line from it. And then I'll do like this. Just a light look at me. Go in a little bit more. You can. Because I want that straight edge. Because that's the life I live. A straight edge. Uh, oh, I love the way it crosses in the different colors. So I'm going to go like this. And then go in like this. Okay. All right. See, we're just making some stuff. There's like no rhyme or reason. So when you're at home and you're like, oh, I have nothing, you know, I'm, I'm uninspired or I have nothing to do. Look at me. I got this. And you, if you got a hole punch or something like that, or you just want to take your X-Acto knife and take a piece of cardboard, cut out shapes and do this. Right? Take a piece of cardboard. See this? And then cut out a few shapes with your exacto and I think I'll be perfect. It's about just being ingenuative. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ingenuitive. You know what I'm saying? But look at this already. How cool. I mean, to me. But I see this is the stuff I love. It's like there's no rhyme or reason to it. And I'm okay with that. And like I said, I like this. This is really uh look at me go. And you can do it with a paintbrush. Don't you don't have to do it with this. I'm just playing with this today. But look at us already. Look at that. Now, if you have another piece of paper sitting, which I thought I did, but <laughs> I don't. Um, which what's new? Oh, I can do it on here. This is my thing. Okay. You can turn it this way. You can take this. And even though I'm still getting that in there, I'm going to clean my brush off. This is on a different piece of printer paper or whatever you have. And what's going to do, you see, like you're getting these kind of textures. Look. And you're just picking up, you know, and um, 
these different kind of things where you're starting another piece of paper. You see what I'm saying? It ain't rocking sides. And then I got all this, but I'm not going to worry about this. Let's see about cleaning. So I have my paper towel here. Got my paper towel. I got some water. I'm just dipping her in. Hello, sister. I'm getting her wet. Now I want to dye my paper towel a little bit, right? So it cleans. Look at that. It's clean. Turn it over. Wipe it again. Just like you would a paintbrush, I can dip in again. Not a big deal. And we're, we're ready to go. It's dry. Get them sides. Don't forget because it gets in there. And you can wet it again, whatever. I like mush and color, so I ain't mad at that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of this ultramarine blue in the pink. In the pink. Oh, somebody's. My mother texted me. Okay. Checking in on everybody. Okay, so you see how we're going here? And I'm just going to make, I'm not going to waste the paint that I had or what was on my paintbrush. And I'm going to make this really pretty, like, violet color. Look at me. And it's a beautiful violet. Now we're going on, right? Going on, going on. I have a paper cup, plastic cup. What do you have? Whatever you have. I'm going to take, now I can dip it. I don't know if it's going to be big enough. I can dip it around. Watch me dip. Watch me dip. Watch me dip it. This is what I do to my nephew. I just torture him. I sing to him. All right. <laughs> I miss my nephew. Okay. So I have this. And then we can go and randomly put on circles. So maybe you have a, um, let me show you. Let me get this first. We're just random circling. And sometimes, like I said, it, it's easier just to take your paintbrush. And um, I don't know why I am so, I don't know. I must have hit my um, thing when I was outside I'm looking out the window, my camera, and then I got it all screwed up. Yeah, see how you get better. And you can turn it. And you get these really cool round things. So let's say, okay, um, I got some round things, the bigger ones, but I want smaller. Now, I have my glass uh, mason jar there where I do water, and I have my old Chinese thing there for water. I have, and maybe you do, maybe you don't, several little things. I have this little sake um, thing I got from the thrift store. I'm going to paint on that. And you get these different. Now, if this starts drying out, just do a squirt. A squirt will do it. Adds excitement. All kinds of things. So, see how I'm doing? I'm just getting that. So, you can use something like this. Oh, God, here comes. I can hear the monster coming. Hey, I'm recording. So, and then I have a cup here. Different sizes. So, do your thing, right? And then I'll just mix this with that water just to keep it moist because we all love that word moist. How'd your nails come out, Em? Good. Do you do the same color? Yeah. You want to show on the camera? Please? Not you, just your nails. Yeah? yeah. All right, she doesn't want to. So, hello, Luna. Yeah, I want to see. Excuse me. <laughs> Oh, they came out beautiful. Show on the camera. Just go like this. Are you on there? I can't see. Look how pretty. Those are the new nails we've been doing. Yep. I got to put the video up from that. Those come out pretty. You're going to have to do mine next. It took me three hours. It took you three hours. Well, they're beautiful. She has a full set on. Gorgeous, beautiful. So there you go. How my other hand turned out. Beautiful. They look professionally done. Um, they look beautiful. They came out beautiful. I love the color. All right. I have to order more of that. Okay. So back to my video. I'm going to dry this. And what I'm going to do next 
before I continue on here. And like I said, you see, this is all stuff from home. We're not, you know, you can use a lid from your paints. And I'm not using anything special. I'm not going and, you know, I have sprays that I made. I'm not even going into that. But I have another side over here. So what I'm going to do, instead of um, wasting all this color, because I really don't necessarily need any more of that, you can definitely put more on there. But I'm just going to take my brush. I'm going to wipe it off on here so I uh, don't waste. And then I'm going to take my brush here, and I'm going in, and look at me. Her dog is such a much. Okay. Not the puppy. It's her old dog, Dolly. It was a Maltese rescue. Old barks at everything. Anybody, everything. So what I'm doing is... Okay. You see what I'm doing? I'm going to spray this a little bit more just to be able to pick up. Now, all this is on the bottom is a um, piece of... Oh, like... I want to say foam core you get in the big sheets. I can't recall the name right now. It might even be what the name is. And that's what I've been working on. And I have the other side to turn over for it to be white. And then I'll probably do a pour on it. And then I'll have a piece of art to hang, you know, if I want. Or give it, take it to my nephew and he can paint on it and do whatever he wants with it. When I'm done. But you see, I'm just laying... Laying that so it doesn't go to waste, and then I'll dry this. And when I have more, I'll do more, and I'll just keep layering. Maybe I'll do on this side as well. Now, I've never sent mail like this before, so I don't know if I could just put somebody's address on here when I'm done and then mail it. I don't know. So if you know, let me know down below. I'm just trying to make a piece of art to send, you know. That's it. Don't dry that. I'll put it in an envelope as a piece of art. By the time I'm done with it. So you see how like I have this background and all that? Okay, making sure that purple acrylic paint dries so fast. I love it. And look at us. Now we're on to the next level. Now I can use this tape again and make more, but I'm I'm pretty good with that right now. I'm gonna put my tape over here. For when I do my next piece of art to send out. And I'm going to take this. Now remember, you see what I'm doing. I'm cleaning this. I didn't wet it yet. I'm going to do this dry. Make sure of those corners, boy. Okay. All right. See, because what happens is... You start making another sheet. Now this is this is two player, one player. I don't know. I don't have a dummy right now to pull apart. But I'm starting to add different colors. So you can see I've been doing on there. So what I'm going to do now is I like to fold it in half, and you can do it inside itself. It doesn't matter. And then fold it so another part is showing. So when I go to do more colors, it's just adding to it. I also love to use fabric. I I love to use muslin. And um, I'll do the same thing. I'll fold it and I'll do, and then when I take it out, I got a beautiful piece of fabric, which maybe I'll do next time just to show you. All right, so you see, look at this, how, how awesome so far. Okay, now I could leave this as the back and paint on here. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll start working on this side now. And then I'll, I'll leave you guys alone and I won't bother you anymore. Um, but like I said, I'm just so excited for this. Would anybody like one? Maybe I'll throw it in a package. Let me know down below if you would like one of these because I have a couple. And I really, really love it to just, I do a lot of backgrounds, mixed media, and I love, I mean, this you can use for glue. Like I have one set aside just to use for my Mod Podge and my glue um, just to help spread. Um, it just helps with my hand. And something I might do. Uh, which maybe I'll do right now while this is drying for the extra second. I'm going to take some painter's tape, and this is why. We're going to see how this works. I could even use the, the ones that I have that I already used. And I'm going to put it, like, right there. And I'm going to, what I like to do, 
because I like the hat. Would you please get off there? It's like one of those sticky thing, boogery things that the kids have. It ends up with all the hair in the world that you have in your house from the dogs and the cats. See, this is sticky. All right. And I'm going to roll it. Rolling it for Angie today. There we go, Ange. And by the way, thank you to everybody who went and gave Angie love when I asked um, the comments and the love for her. I hope she appreciated it, and uh, I know she did. And um, a little something, a little jiggity there. I'm gonna tape. And this just helps for anything. If it's a paintbrush or whatever, maybe it's hurting your hand. Maybe it needs to be thicker. That's why I love mechanical pencils because I can get like a thick one, um, and it's easier, you know, for me to hold on to. So maybe that'll help you as well. Well, I I don't know, but. For me, it does. So now we have this. Now, what colors do I love? I love colors that like come out. You know what I mean? That um, that kind of thing. So I yellow citron. I'm gonna see what we can do on here. And I'm gonna just lay this here. No big deal. I don't want to put it here in case it's damp still because I don't want it to mix uh, wet. I think it will make and it might just go ploopy on here. I don't know. Do I have any of my other stencils sitting here? <laughs> Where's all my stencils? Where's my stencils at? Huh. I thought I had them sitting here, but I guess I don't. Which isn't, you know, anything different than normal. Here they are. I know I put them somewhere. So this, y'all know, is a onion bag. I love onion bags. Y'all know. And the nice thing is, this had shallots in it. You can pull it. I do love me a shallot, which I'm going to make some things. I, like I talked about in my vlog, if you didn't see it, it's my last video I did where I'm doing sourdough bread and I'm going to do um, some, we, they call it here Chinese pizza with scallions and uh, oh yeah, green onions. That will be anyway irrelevant. Okay, so we have this. And I'm going to pull it out to the biggest of the stretch because that makes it sit better for me. And if you go shower, go ahead. Um, I need help. Oh, all right. Well, you're going to text Daddy. No, He's sitting on the deck. Okay, waiting for. I think he finished the grass. All right. Sorry for all my family stuff today while we do this, but. It's life. There's nothing I can do about it. All right. So I'm dipping in and I'm going to hold it. And I'm just going to run it. And, you know, some people like to, now you can see the texture there. It's not a clean texture. And that's because I'm not, I went on and I'm moving. It. So let's try this. So I want that texture still there. And you can see it's dull a little bit, but I'm okay with that. We're going to go a little bit. So I'm just going to dip in. And I'm going to tap it off here so a lot of it's off. Because these do hold a lot. And I'm going to lightly go in. I like the drag. Now remember, there is not a lot in between these. Um, I mean, that's all you're getting. So a spray, you know, but look at this. Look at that texture. That dries, that's what it is. That's why I love using these for mermaids and, and ocean kind of things because, I mean, look, we got a nice mermaid thing going here. Look, oh gosh, so I'm just adding texture. Now here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the rest of this green. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm using this... Um, board and what it's doing is soaking in a lot of the so if you have a um, palette or something you might be better off because it does soak in a little bit and that's all right for me for what I'm doing but okay so I just wipe it off there I'm not gonna worry too much about it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry this real quick
And I'm going in with some pink. So I'm going to add some white and lighten it. My quinacron drunk girl magenta. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit. It is. No, this is naphthol crimson. I'm sorry. I keep calling it the magenta, but it's not. And then some white. This is just wicker white. I'm going to mix it together because I just want a light pink. And then I'm going to go in with my paintbrush and mix it. Did you text him? And my paintbrush can be a little damp. It's not going to matter because just, you know, doing its thing. If you want it lighter, you can. If you have light pink and you don't want to mix, do that. It's all in what you like. What you, what you, what you want. Okay, so I'm just wiping on the aerosol. I don't waste. Because really, I, I don't like to waste. And I'm going to go in like this. Get it going. Kind of tap it off there. I can even tap it off on there. Now I'm going to go in with this and go this way. Ooh. Yeah, a little too wet. That's all right. Look, because I'll go over it. But I love the orange that mixes with the green. All right, I'm going to wipe this off because I don't want it to be that wet. Got a little bit of that green in there, which is like yellow green. So it makes a little orange, which I'm not mad at. Look at that. Oh, I get too excited over stupid stuff, I know. And we can even, let me just show you. See how you're not, you're getting the texture and you're not getting it as thick as this green, but you're still getting that really cool texture. I need something over here. So I'm gonna just try to pick up whatever's left here. I'm pushing out. I'm pushing that real bone. I'm going to go over this. Yeah. Oh, I love it. This is a little wet still, so I can even move this a little bit. That's what he said. Okay. Look at this. How cool. Now, you know what would be really cool? If I went over with some um, iridescent, some color shift or something to that nature on top of this, which would be really, really cool. But I'm going to draw this. And I think I'm good. Just wanted to show you a few things on here. I didn't realize how long it was. Like I said, I wanted to kind of go on here and talk live, but it's all right. I should know better. I'm going to have to do it during the week. So make sure that if you watch this far, you let me know if you would be interested in one of these. And let me know, you know, um, or I'm letting you know, rather, that probably during the week will be I will be going live. I'm just going to do it. It'll probably be like around this time, you know, 12, 30, 1 o'clock, just uh, to let you guys know so you have a heads up. But this is where I'm at on here so far, and then I will finish it. Pretty cool, though, isn't it, from just mail? Let me know down below, though, if I have to put this in an envelope or do I mail it like this. Like, oh, let me put somebody a label with somebody's address. Is this too big? Is there rules? I don't know. And, um, you know, like I said, this is my new obsession. So this is what I'm going to be doing. Cleaning my brush right now. Just adding some of that. Look at me go. All right, guys. I love you guys so very much. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. I hope this helped you guys out a little bit with um, things around the house. Like I said, go look at your onions or your shallots or something to that, you know, that has these in. Um, go use that. Go get your plastic bag that maybe some fruit or veg came in. Look into your uh, fruit drawer. See if you have something like this that your oranges or lemons came in. Um, squish up a plastic fruit bag and use it to get texture that way. Very, very light uh, paint. Like I said, cups and look what we used here. 
from light bulbs, the things. I could go on for days, but we're not going to. Also, if you can't find something with the circle, look. Look what this is. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam, bam. See what I'm saying? Oh, I could go on. I use this, and then I'll go over. I, I can't. I'll spend hours here. I love you guys. Be kind to each other. You never know what battle. Somebody else is fighting, but be kind to yourself. Because I know a lot of us are like, oh, my goodness, we're in the house. What do we do? I can't get out to get anything. I don't have money to get anything. Look, I got mail. You get mail. Cardboard. Use cardboard. Cereal box. It's endless. I have tons of these on my channel where I use all kinds of stuff around the house. And like I said, look what we're doing. We are starting another piece of paper here. So I love you guys. Stay well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.